Who is a bad guy in history who actually wasn't a bad guy? Machiavelli, one of the most honest dudes in history, and his name is instead synonymous with villainy. For real, the prince was basically his, please let me return to Florence my exile I can be really really useful. A dingo really ate her baby. In Brave Heart, William Wallace gets betrayed by Robert the Bruce which never happened, he was loyal to the end. Jesus was given vinegar to drink by the Roman. It turns out that the Roman military provided their troops with a water-vinegar mixture to drink because it helped them replenish their salt levels after perspiring. So, the only thing the Roman did was to offer Jesus a sip of his own drink rather than making him drink vinegar as punishment or a dig. Richard Jewell, security guard at the Atlanta Olympic who was blamed for the bombing. What is something most people think only men do, but actually women do as well? Keep hand in pants in a non-sexual way when just chilling. Get horny over nothing or randomly. Use Reddit lol. The weird sidestep. Sometimes when I wear really short shorts, my butt cheeks start eating my shorts and I have to try my best to make a discreet weird sidestep to adjust it. Sometimes when the labia gets misplaced in the underwear, or when the underwear gets stuck in there as well. Be dirty and lazy. Masturbate. Frequently. Shit. Inconceivable. Shave their face. I just said this on another thread but, having fantasies about saving people or sacrificing yourself for them. Check out women. A broken escalator as stairs. What else still works when broken? A broken electric blanket still works as a non-electric blanket. Or as a fire starter, depending on the need. A laptop with a broken screen can still work as a computer if plugged into a monitor. My brother took a laptop with a broken screen, keyboard, case apart, took out the still functioning hardware, built an enclosure for it out of Legos, and used it as a desktop. A boat that's lost its engines can still float and be rowed to move. A sailboat that's lost its sails can still be rowed in the case of Viking ships. Precious metals are still worth their weight if broken up. Electric toothbrush. Your heart. My arm, according to my boss. A broken clock is right twice a day. Crayons. An egg? What's the worst movie you ever had to sit through? Cats, 2019. The Son of Mask. I didn't feel like going to the movies. I tried to convince my mom to take me to the mall. The Last Airbender, or as it's known in the fandom. There is no movie in Ba Sing Se. Epic movie. I cannot figure out why I thought it would be entertaining. It wasn't even funny as a bad movie. Dated a super edgy girl that took me to see an experimental Serbian cinema movie that was unbearable. I took my current husband to see Ichi the Killer on our second date. I had no idea he had an issue with blood and he passed out a couple times during the film. I loved it. The Emoji Movie. Jack and Jill. One of the worst Adam Sandler movies I've ever sat through. Some of his movies are really bad but this one is a stinker. What do you think is the worst way a human can die? Steamed alive. It's like getting burned alive except your nerve endings don't get destroyed so you get to feel all of it to the end. Or so I've heard. There's a Netflix documentary that made me realize the horror that is steam burning. The Volcano. Rescue from Fukari. According to pain studies it's burning, but I'm not sure they were able to study impalement or scaphism. Scaphism is the answer. Imagine slowly being devoured by bugs in stagnant water and being force-fed while you crap yourself to death. Scaphism or impalement, but by a skilled impaler who can slide that thing in there, missing anything immediately fatal and hoisting you up for days. Modern world? Probably radiation poisoning or rabies. Bonus answer that applies to me, specifically the Nutty Putty Cave Incident. 